they said I changed. Maybe they were just jealous because they didn't change. Maybe they were ashamed because they didn't change. Maybe they were disappointed in themselves that they remained the same. <laughs> yeah, I changed. Like anyone with ambition will remain the same. Yeah, I changed. I changed everything but my name. I wasn't born a miracle to be average. I have absolutely no desire to fit in. No desire to conform to anyone's wishes. But I have every desire within myself to improve myself. Every day. Every hour. Every minute. They'll say you didn't have enough time for them. <laughs> well, maybe they weren't worth your time. They laughed at my dreams and my goals. <laughs> well, maybe they were embarrassed because they didn't have any. Maybe their dreams were really nightmares. Maybe their lives was really just a horror story. They said that I was arrogant. Maybe they just hated my ambition. Maybe they were too ashamed because they had none themselves. Maybe I reminded them of what their weakness is. They said I wouldn't make it to the top. Listen, they said I couldn't make it full stop. They said I would fail, that I would fall, that, that, that no one would believe in me. They gave me so many reasons. But they forgot to ask about my desire. They never asked about my willingness to sacrifice. They never asked if I was willing to do whatever it took to make it. Maybe if they did, they would have kept quiet. Or maybe they wanted to ensure they had someone to sit with them at the bottom of the mountain. You know, with the majority of the people that didn't put in the work. Those who didn't have the courage, those who didn't have the drive, those who didn't have the will or the passion to fight for their dreams, to sacrifice, or even to conquer. Maybe they were afraid because they didn't have what it takes. What it takes to keep up with my drive, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with my passion. You know, they say that you'll never make time for them. Well, maybe you only make time for the people that are worth your time. And since there's a lack of those type of people, maybe they're not that type of person. You know, somebody once told me, it's better to be hated for what you are than to be loved for what you're not. You know, it's better to walk alone and be successful than to walk with those that are wandering aimlessly through life and end up in the middle of nowhere. But it's okay, because when my circle got smaller, my drive got bigger. When my circle got smaller, my vision got larger. When my circle got smaller, my circle got stronger. The proof is always in the pudding. You can't fake results. I move on without them. I know I'm stronger. I know I'm better. I know that I'm greater. Without them, it's a blessing. Without them, I keep on growing, moving forward. I'm constantly on the move without them. You're not a puddle. Stop letting them walk all over you. You're not a doormat. Stop letting them wipe their dirt on your face. You're not below them. Don't let them look down on you. Listen, stand tall, walk strong, and hold your own. Listen to me, there is no one above or below you. There is no one that is superior or inferior to you. You must always remain hungry. Don't ever, ever lose your passion or your compassion. Listen to me, you have enormous drive, but don't lose your humility. Put yourself in their shoes, but don't live in them. Live your life. Let them live theirs. Go after your dreams and let them decide their own fate. You said that I would never make it in life. You said I would fail. You said that I would humiliate myself. I didn't have it in me. I was no good. I wouldn't succeed. You said I was weak. You said I was not strong. I guess they didn't know what I knew that I would make it, maybe not immediately, but absolutely and definitely. The 
difference between winning or losing, the difference between those who do it and those who don't make it in life, and listen to me, it isn't about talent. It isn't about any type of magical formula. The difference is character. It is your human spirit. And if you're going to make it in this world, living out your dreams or living out your nightmares, it is completely up to what you do. It all comes down to you. Being insulted is amazing. It's one of the best things that could happen to you. Why? Because when people want to hurt you, they're going to come after you with something real. Nobody throws an insult at you that they think is patently ridiculous. The things that they insult you for are the things that they know are going to get under your skin. And if you can take that in, if you can let that pain wake you up, to something that you may not have wanted to look at, if you can let that attack become something that empowers you because you're willing to listen, you're able to separate the message from the messenger. You're able to see that even though what they're trying to do is hurt you, that in there, there is a nugget of truth. And the way that I think about that is when people throw something at me, they're throwing a nugget of gold. And yes, it sucks every time you get hit in the face with a nugget of gold. But if you don't throw your defenses up, if you take that shot, suddenly at your feet is something very valuable, something that you can use. And all you have to do is be willing to pick it up, be willing to hold in your hand and look at it and see it for what it is, which is the truth. And in the truth, then you can see how you really are. And once you see how you really are, then you can make that change. But it all begins with the pain. It all begins with the suffering. It all begins with an insult. It all begins with something aimed to take you down. But when you have the mentality of a learner, when your identity is around self-improvement, when the thing that makes up who you are is your single-minded willingness to stare nakedly at your inadequacies, suddenly you can change. Suddenly, it doesn't hurt so much to have somebody say something. As long as it's true, you're willing to use it. As long as it's true, you're willing to take it on board and see how you can improve and get better. But first, you must stop being willfully blind to your inadequacies. You must stop being willfully blind to the mistakes that you make. You must stop being willfully blind to the areas that you need to improve if you want to achieve the things that you say you want to achieve. But that's where people get stuck. They get stuck in self-esteem. They get stuck building their self-esteem around something that is weak, something that is fragile, something that can be attacked. And that's why you have to build your self-esteem around something truly anti-fragile, something that the more it is attacked, the stronger it becomes. And the only thing that I've ever seen that's like that is to identify as the learner. Once you identify, once your very sense of self is that of someone who improves, someone who's willing to look at the truth, someone who's willing to hear the hard and difficult and painful truths about who you really are because you know that the thing that makes you great is your willingness to look at that and to improve. Once you have that mentality, once you're willing to push yourself and improve and become something extraordinary, that is the thing that's going to give you that pride and that sense of self-esteem because you were willing to stare at the things that you find ugly about yourself. Because you know you can make them beautiful. And that's the difference between the person who throws an insult at you. They have not yet figured that out. And they need to tear you down to try to make themselves bigger. But you don't need to do that because you have an aim. You know what you're trying to become. And the relentless pursuit of that mandates that you accept who you really are right now. 
as a means to figure out the new skill set that you need to acquire to live the life that you want to live. But focus only on that. Don't worry about people trying to tear you down. Don't worry about anything other than what is true, what is needed for you to cross the chasm of skill set to get from where you are to where you want to be. Because that is the most important question life is ever going to ask. Who do you want to become? And what's the price you're willing to pay to get there? So ask yourself right now, what price are you willing to pay for greatness?